Okay everyone, so today I'm going to ask you the question, are Prismacolors really worth it? So that question you guys can decipher after the video, but as for me, I'm going to say yes, they're worth it. And today I will show you how by comparing Prismacolor pencils, which are a lot more expensive compared to simple Muhai color pencils. So now let's get started. Okay, so over here on the left, you have your Prismacolor pencils, and you have your Muhai over here on the right. And they are really, really different in terms of how they write. That's the main thing and how they're different. So let me start with a simple orange. Let me just write out Pris... Let me just write out Prisma for you. That's just a writing. And now I'll do it with this one. This one is a lot... If you would see, it's, it's faded a lot more than that one. This one, you don't even need to put any pressure. The Prisma requires like no pressure, and it writes really, really thick on the paper. Now let's try to just write a big, let's do a big square. So as you see, I'm not even putting any pressure here on my square, and it's writing very fine. And I can even go over it a second time to make it perfect. Look at that. That was very nice, and that's why I like Prisma Color pencils. Now let's do the tear. I'm putting a lot of pressure here well, on this Muhai, not tear, and it's not really coming out good. It's taking a lot more to actually make the square than it is the P. I'm putting a real lot of pressure. So that's the square compared to that one. That one was very, very simple and easy to do. It wrote really nice, and it was thick on the paper. That was just an orange. An orange is a very hard color to decide whether you like a pencil or not because it doesn't really show up too well because it's a bright color. Now let's go to a little bit darker of a color, let's go to the blue. So, once again, that was a little more faded right there. That didn't write too much, maybe because it needs a little bit sharpened. But, that's fine. Probably still write better than the other one. Wow. Look how faded that is, you can't even see it. That's a, this is a really, really cheap pencil, and this is an expensive one. So you kind of can see right here just the difference of how it writes. And now let's do our, our box again. We'll start with the Muhai first. Once again, I'm putting a lot of pressure on this piece of paper just to do this blue box. And it still is really fading, even with all the pressure put onto it. So that's a lot of pressure and quite a bit of my pencil just wasted on that little box. Now let's do the Prismacolor pencil, let's see if, how well it does. I'm exerting a very little energy and putting no pressure on this really. And look how thick that came out. This is very thick compared to the blue other one. Same blues right here, if I'm going to be saying myself, I'm not changing the blues, they're the exact same. So now we're going to go on to the black. You see with the black, it's it's black. It should write the exact same. It should draw the exact same because they are both black pencils. I don't. I think so far by these tests, it's not going to be the same. Let's start off by doing the Prisma over here with the actual Prisma color pencil. Oh, that wrote pretty. That wrote fairly well. And then now let's try the other one, the Muhai. It's not thick at all. And I had to put a lot of pressure for that and it didn't even show up well. So once again, the cheap pencil loses in this test. Now let's do the box test. I'm going to go really hard here with this. I have to put a lot of pressure when just drawing this little box. That, ugh, that's weird. I don't like that. Now let's do the Prisma. Wow, I'm putting no, really no pressure once again. Look at this box. You can already, again, see the thickness among the different colors of orange to blue, like bluish purple to uh, the black. And then compared to over here, it does not write well. Now if you want to say make fur out of like a cool phoenix fur or something. Wow, look at that. You don't even have to put any pressure and the lines are showing up really well. And it even blends. See the blending effect that I have going on with the blue and the orange? Everything about this Prismacolor pencil 
is winning compared to this Muhai color pencil. Now let's go back with the orange. That does that writes fairly well if it's sharpened, but it's still a little bit faded as you guys can see. I am putting a lot of pressure on this. Now I'll try with the blue over it and see if it blends. I don't see any blending effect. The blue is really overcoming. There's a little bit of blending effect, but not too much. So you can see the difference in right just right here. This one is a lot thicker than this one. I would have to say the Prismacolor pencils have won in every category to the Muhai color pencils. I'm not one to really say go off and buy expensive materials, but if you're an experienced drawer and you know how to shade, you know how to draw like fur or anything with Prismacolor pencils or just color pencils in general, I suggest getting the Prismacolor pencils. So they have one and one, two, three, four, five, six, seven tests. Prismacolor pencils. Seven. In the Muhai, zero. Even there, that one's so thin compared to that thick line. So, I say Prismacolor pencils are awesome, and that is the answer to your question. Are Prismacolor pencils worth it? I say the, they are, and the more you buy, the more colors you have. I have around 128 Prismacolor pencils. I'm rolling with these colors, and I just want more and more. So, start off by buying something small. Buy like a 12 piece set of Prismacolor pencils, just get the basis and get the feel of how you like these color pencils before you buy the bulk. So I thank you guys all so much for watching this art review video on Prismacolor pencils compared to a random cheaper color pencil. I would again say Prismas are great, so thank you so much for watching. Hit that subscribe button and ring that bell for more videos every single Wednesday, a cool art review. And every Monday will be a a random drawing, and then every Friday will be a Fan Art Friday drawing. So thank you, and have a great day.